Holy hell, I look awesome. Thank you, Ansgar Odinson, for creating this new incarnation of all y'all's scaly master, or something suitably in character for the character that I never actually developed for this channel before I started using a camera. If you haven't met Ansgar before, he is to culture and art what I am to science and woo. A layman with a psychotic obsession with researching the hell out of the bullshit, and then exposing it for everyone to see. Key difference. He actually invests creative effort into his work, so check him out a after you watch this, of course. And what is this? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to some musings brought about by a question Steve McRae of the Great Debate Society asked me. It's been months, and I don't remember the exact wording, but in spirit, he was asking for my attitude regarding the deistic proposition that there is some god which pushed the universe go button then sought it off to play Overwatch for the next 13 billion years, having no further effect on our observable universe. My blunt two-second response is that such a proposition is fundamentally worthless. Why is that, you ask? Throughout history, the worship of gods and the structure of religions has been towards theistic gods, gods that interact with the world and shape events. Nobody sends a prayer to a god they know, by definition, cannot or will not hear, never mind respond. And that is what a deistic god is, a god that isn't really even there. If you define god as that which caused the observable universe, then even a purely naturalistic explanation for the observable universe gets the label God. At this point, if we discovered our universe exists due to quantum tunneling from another universe, then congratulations, quantum tunneling and the laws of physics are God. The deistic position offers no explanatory power and is inherently unfalsifiable. Why? Because even if we proved that quantum tunneling caused the Big Bang, then proponents would move their deistic god to being the ethereal creator of the universe that caused the tunneling event. So why ever posit it? It's about as useful as hard solipsism and should be given as much credence as the same. Let's do ourselves one better and admit that outside of armchair debates, deism belongs in the rubbish bin. I'm a name dragon, and I promise this wasn't just filler to have one more video out this month. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic, especially reasons why I ought to take deism more seriously than I do hard solipsism. If you didn't already know, hard solipsism is the position that only my mind exists, and all the rest of reality, including all y'all, are just my imagination. Don't forget to share this video around, if only so more people see Ansgar's beautiful art. Don't forget to visit his channel as well, now that I'm done. Many thanks to my patrons over on Patreon, who help make all of this possible. If you'd like to join their number, a link to that is in the description. Thank you all, and have a good night.